Welcome back to the Norkness and Help Desk. I'm your host, Adam Brano, and we are going to take a look at Adobe Spark today. Yay! So, what exactly is Adobe Spark? Adobe Spark is a free and easy way for you to share your creativity and your ideas. You can't do a whole bunch of complex things for the most part on Adobe Spark, but if you have a simple idea that you want to share with somebody, this will be the perfect place for you to meet. So we'll start by showing you an example of what you can do on Adobe Spark, and then we'll get into how to actually do it. So let's just start with a post. This is a simple image and text behind it, or text above the image, sorry. So, you know, I found a picture of a lizard, and I wrote text. You're a lizard, Harry. That's simple as that. And you can change the style if you wanted to, as you can see, of the text. And it's kind of cool. So then, let's show you an example of a video. They're just like PowerPoint for the most part, except for a little less features, but it's also more user friendly, so you can take your pick between the two. If you don't have PowerPoint, maybe this is the way to go. So we'll wait for this to load. All right, so we'll go here. Here is a preview of a video you can make in Adobe Spark. You can just pick out a background and you can put text on each slide and have it go through. As well as you can narrate and add music. I didn't do a narration for this though. Because I didn't see a point to it. I was just trying to do a quick video to get an idea of how it works. And of course if you don't pay, you always have a Adobe Spark thing at the very end. But it's not really a, a big deal to be honest. It's good to promote free products. And anyway, let's go to the home page and show you how to make one of these kind of cool ideas, whatever it might be. So let's say you want to make a post, a simple, quick idea, and we'll do a video later, and possibly a page. Pages are like multiple posts put together, which can be cool, but that's only if you have a really extensive idea and you want to have more space to work on with it. So before we name this for the text, why not? You can change the graphic size of the picture. So if you plan on sharing this post on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, whatever it might be, you might want to change the graphic size to match. But I'm not going to change it because it doesn't matter to me. I don't ever share this stuff. So this is going to be the text that's on the post. So if you got a joke or something cool you wanted to say, this is where it would go. I'm just going to say something simplistic. And click continue. And wait for the load. And oh dear. Battery's going down. That's okay though, because we'll just charge it later. Okay, so now you have this default post that changes every single time. It's kind of randomized, but this default post, how do you customize this? Well, first thing you want to do is choose a theme. This kind of changes the text for the most part. So let's say, let's watch the something as it changes between each of these themes. So find something that looks cool, a text that looks cool. You don't have to do it here though. If you go to the text over here and you drag this around, you can just change the themes at will. That's kind of a lot easier this way. And you can kind of see how much you like it. So that's what I would suggest for text. So if, if you don't want to pick a theme, you could just do that. As for palette, this kind of changes the colors. It tints the post a little bit, as you can see. So I'd wait to do this after you find a background so you know exactly what you want. And the first thing you should do when you find a background is find a photo. You can upload a photo of your own from your computer, or you can just find a photo, kind of like Google Images. You just search what you want, let's say search the dragon, and you can put it in there. So it'll take a second to load. And there you go, here's a lizard right here. And here's the lizard picture I used beforehand. You don't have to worry about copyright and whatnot. It's taken care of. Um, if you make a video with pictures and whatnot in it, it'll, at the very end it'll say these, where these images were found, so you don't have to worry about all that stuff. Alright, so now we can go back from the added photos, and we can change the photo scale if you want to zoom in a little bit, as well as the rotation, and if you want just his face, you can drag it like that. So maybe if you want the text to be coming out of his mouth, you can put it like right there, but I don't really care what, where it goes, to be honest. Anyway, I'm going to have to move my face out of the way so you can see these. These are kind of like filters that go over the background photo, which can be really cool, especially if you want to stylize your idea with whatever it might be. 
I'm just going to leave it as Shiro, because I like the black and white effect. And you can also, if you don't like pictures, you just wanted a blank background, you can change the color. This, as you see, it'll remove the photo. And there you go. The photo is now gone. And if you want it back, you can just click Add Photo and do go through all of that again, which I might have to do. I'll just do that right now. Right, so I got the image back, and now it's back being black and white. The next thing you would want to do for your post is the text, which is simple. Just come over here to this text tab, and you can change the theme really quickly if you want to. As you'll notice, it doesn't stand out very well without a background, so you'll, you'll want to add a background to the text later on. As you can see, this one stands out a lot more than all the other ones because it has a background. But let's just say, oh, I like that one. Look at that one. If you didn't have a background, you would go to Shape, it'll take a second, and you'll pick one of these that actually has a background. As you can tell, some of them don't. Or you can pick a banner. That fits your post more than anything else. Alright, so now let us show you how to make a video. You know, a quick little video. So click this button right here, you know, plus sign. Click video, and we'll get right into this. Let's see, here's going to be the title of the video, whatever it be. So I'm just going to call this video test. You can call this whatever you want. And click next. And as you'll see right here, it has all these, all these like templates. Or you can just click start from scratch. I would suggest just starting from scratch, but if you want to try out a template, go for it. They might be fun. Alright, I'll load. Alright, so now you have a blank screen. What do you do? First thing you want to do is come over here, which I'm going to have to move my face out of the way, because it's always in the way, right? And you're going to pick a theme. So let's just click this one right here, just for starters, but you can also pick like lights. And it gives you a cool like background and also change the text. And after you've decided which one of these is the best, you know, which one you like, then you can start adding music and text to this. So one thing you'll notice, in the very center you have one plus sign, and you can just add one thing, text, photo, whatever. But let's say you wanted to add more than that, then you would go over to layout, and you'll see it says one thing. By default, every single one of these frames, which you can add by clicking this plus button here, will just be stuck on one thing. But if you go to layout, you can change it to two things, and it'll have one on each side. Thing plus caption, and it gives you a picture of each thing. How they're going to look. Full screen photo, pretty self explanatory, gives you a full screen photo, and you can have like the thing plus full photo. I'm just going to leave the first one on full thing. Full thing, one thing, sorry. And I don't know, I'll just do the photo. And then as you'll see, you have that photo search that you had beforehand. So you can click find photos like before and search whatever. So here's the first picture, and this is what it'll look like. And then you can click here if you want to delete the picture or change it to something else. And now you're done with that slide. Let's go to the next one. So you can just keep going through these, typing things in, whatever it might be, add another slide, add a picture, until finally you're satisfied with it and you want to test it out. To do that, you just click preview and you can click play and you get an idea of what your video is going to look like. By default, there is some happy music playing. If you want to change it to be less happy, you can go to the music section and click any of these you want and it'll take you'll see it's loading and if you want to hear the music before you put it in you cl just click the play button then you can get an idea of how it sounds now let's say you want to add a narration to your video well you'll see right here it has this little microphone if you click that and press and hold and then start talking it'll add a narration and if you don't like the narration that you have put on here you just press hold and re it'll restart and finally, the most possibly the most important thing is changing how fast your um, videos will go. So I'm going to move my face out of the way again. As you'll see, there's a number here. You can just change this from 1 to 10 seconds. This is how long your slides will, will be before the transition. The, I don't know why the most is 10 seconds, but I don't think you'll need more than 10 seconds in, tra in transitions. I usually go with like 4, 3 to 4. Those usually work for me. Yeah, so see this is a 4, and, you know, it looks pretty good. So that's how you make a simple video, 
And then when you finish your video, you click the share button. Who would have thought, right? And then you can click, pick a category, whatever it might be. I'm just going to say other because this has no category. Give it a subtitle of something. And then you'll see it says author. If you don't want your video to be public, when it's public, to have your name as the author, you can just click this and it'll take it off. And by default, you can't get rid of the Adobe branding. That's only for exclusive people. You have to pay for that. It happens a lot. But let's say you wanted to keep your video. You don't you don't want it to be shared throughout here. You just want to download it. You can just come over here and click download. And it'll, you see it says preparing your video for download. And eventually, it'll download your MP4 video. And then you can upload that to YouTube or whatever it might be. And you'll have your video everywhere. So this has been my quick tutorial over Adobe Spark. I hope it is useful for anyone who's got you know ideas they want to share, they want a quick way to share them, help you start picking up Adobe Spark. Thank you so much for watching.